Hey guys, it's Pam. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, I just left off killing these assholes uh, just outside these mines here, and we're going to go and head in and get us some Viridium and also kill some more Freeman of the Dales while we're at it. These are all our legion jerks, so we don't care if they live or die. I mean, unlike the Orlesians that we do like, that we do want to, to stay alive. Okay, we've got this guy wandering around over here. I need to go... Alright, is that everybody? Oh, there's more inside. But... Are they going to come out? Yeah, they are. There's a note here. Oh, one of these jerks. See, I told you, are they just this? Fortunately, he wasn't too difficult. Um, let's finish looting real quick. That's one thing I've been thinking about as I play through this for the umpteenth time. And it's something that's occurred to me as playing in, while playing other games as well. Uh, but it stood out to me because in Final Fantasy XV, pretty much everything that you fight is either magical, like, armor um, or demon, a beast that, you know, you kind of want to kill anyway just because they're shitty. Um, so there's really nothing... Um, eventually you do run into demons that, well, I'm not going to spare this whole game, but um, you find out more about them, but as... If the game starts at least, you're basically just taking down nuisance pests, things like that. I think that's my experience. Come on, you bitch. There she is. Um, whereas with this game and World of Warcraft, Star Wars, Thor, things like that, you are seriously racking up a body count. In fact, um, it's even lampooned at one point in Dragon Age 2 because there's a part where, oh come on, just die. There she That's goes. One way to solve the problem. Yep, indeed. Um, uh, Anders is current concerned about um, all the death that he's, you know, the, the, the people he's been killing. Or some somebody that got killed, I can't remember what it was, and, and Varric kind of jokingly points out that he's been he's already killed like at least 200 people by Varric's reckoning because <laughs> they are they're killing a lot of people Hugh, yes I know what Duhame thinks about the people in Watcher's Reach he's wrong, the refugees think us monsters all because of Duhame and his like if they get in the way I suppose we must eliminate them but we will not hunt them, we will not murder them unless they force our hand, I hope you understand um, so cause Sister Costello actually doesn't want to like randomly hunt down people, but that doesn't really make her that much better than everybody else. As I've said, there's no reason to worry about the other Freeman cells. Since we are in the Dales, I shall invoke the heathen philosophy, thanks very much, of Vir Adelen, the way of the wood. Each tree is part of a greater whole. It is the same with us. We are all part of a greater plan. The Dales will be ours, that I promise, Sister Christo. Well, they're not going to be. Um, that's, I think, telling me to go to the lodge, which is where another one of those lyrium stashes is the red lyrium that we're going to break up so that Varric is happy with us. I mean, Varric is happy with us anyway. He's he's cool like that. But there's another... Oh, yeah, here we go. And then this one is going to um, point us at the villa. Gertrude here. Please, help us. I will. The guards had a key. It's over there. No, the other way! Oh, that's a mosaic piece. I need to loot this. I'll let you out. Just, you know, let me finish looting first. It's yes, over here. Yes. She, if you, you go the wrong it. way, she, Claire, like, yells at you. I can't stand it in here another second. I know. I'm getting you out, lady. Don't worry. You're free. There you go. Thank the maker. Thank you. Get us some nice viridium. Very pretty. You can just stay in here if you want. I mean... You're welcome to leave, buddy. But, you know, there he goes. These poor, poor people have probably been stuck in here long enough that they're just kind of like, huh, I'm free? I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, there was a mosaic tile. 
don't remember which one that was, but that's okay. You can actually find most of the, the stuff that, that involved collections like that. There is a journal um, piece that will give you all that stuff. So like for the mosaics, I've got only, that might be, yeah, the first one of the invasion is the one that I got. I've got eight of the 12, which are the ones in the hinterlands, four of the archdemon, freeder slaves, which just scattered across Theta. So yeah, those I've picked up some of those in Crestwood and other places. So now that we have that, um, we've taken out one of the three co-conspirators. And this is going to try and keep pointing me at the abyss. Uh, I think we're going to head up here next, start knocking out these guys. And hopefully at some point soon we will also reach uh, a camp. Okay, that guy's just gonna go out on the ledge. Whatever. Thank you, Dorian. I appreciate that. I don't want to fight that guy. I mean, I'm gonna have to climb out there. This is that other one that I was talking about. See? Seriously, Cole just fell off the edge. Okay. So, um, I think what I'm going to do right now is, Cassandra, before you go any further, I'm going to use you, since you're on, on the ledge already, or on the, the board, I guess. That's her, one of her effects, by the way, that green, shiny thing. I hate, I hate walking out here, but what's even worse, will this crow needs to get off the, the ledge? Or I'll just walk through it. Um, is that everybody fucking follows you. <laughs> and this is pretty much just going to be for book. But still, you can't run out here. Oh, there's some loot as well. And a ham, for some reason. Oh, and a grave compass. Boy, that was really worth it. So who's back on the other side? Not me. Dorian? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I'll be jumped back to a previous safe location, and I'll be fucking killed! What the hell? Shit. Okay, well, anyway, I still have some stuff to loot. Um, I thought I was gonna... <laughs> I have this vague memory that I decided I wasn't gonna curse as much. Um, that didn't work out so well. There's also this other weird little side quest somewhere around here. Um, that... It really takes like a lot of specific work to find. I don't know if I'm going to bother with that because that one is a bit tedious. Uh, but I mean, it's really interesting that they throw in these things. I didn't know about it. I, well, uh, the only reason I investigated it is because of this one thing I'll show you guys in a bit. guys had anything on them? Well, poop. Anyway, there's just some weird... There's like this thing that you have to find over there by the river and all this stuff and I don't know. Um, where am I headed? I'm headed that direction. Roughly. Actually, it says I'm headed that direction, but I really need to go around here. Yeah, see we're coming up on this river down here. There's also a landmark up there. I'll go back and get it, but before I do that, oh, wait a second. I think I need to take care of these guys first. Yeah, this is the Red Larian ship. I love how the water is affecting his burning at all. Um, where's the quest? Oh, I guess it's a little further down. Alright. See what I mean? This place is so pretty. 
really sucks that it got taken over by Red Larium traders. Master Kells. Numbers are fantastic, sir. Trade's bimming with all this lyrium showing up. Maybe it's red instead of blue, but people are still buying. That mage we picked up can look into what the color means. He needs to start earning his keep. But we have more coin on hand, too. No need to pay off some greasy dwarf since the red stuff isn't from the deep roads. Did I just say greasy? I've lived in Cincinnati too long. Um, must be killing them. Someone struck lyrium up here and they're not getting a piece. Note. He claims this red lyrium is not coming from the deep roads. And this is another thing that's kind of hilarious is that, okay, red larium is bad. Everybody constantly tells you, red larium, don't touch the stuff. It'll make you crazy, blah, blah, blah. So I'm picking it up and putting it in my inventory, and I'm going to use it to make runes. Because why not? Okay, I need to get this landmark. Ooh, more rest shrine. I need all I can get my little hands on. Um, oh, the wooden duck I found on my bed. Was that you? No, I'm not a wooden duck. I mean, did you put it there? Yes. I couldn't find one with little wheels, though. I'm sorry. I am giving the double finger to this. Andraste's mercy. Andraste's mercy, my ass. Elves were guilty of the greatest sin of turning from the maker, but we will show them mercy, for that is what Andraste... Yeah, your mercy is killing everything. Elves... Uh... They didn't turn from the Maker. They had their own gods, but... Maker forbid you accept that. Okay, we can get rid of that. We're going to keep... Oh, I missed it. That's all right. I'll go back and get that one. I have a feeling I'm probably going to end up spending quite a bit of time off camera just getting these landmarks and, and shards and things that are just too boring to pick up. Um, you know, it's just a lot of running around. It can get very tedious. Is this down here? There's a quest that I need to get. There we go. There is this poor woman's dead body. Motherly encouragement. Investigate the fatal fall. So we'll come up here, get this rift. Just keep working our way through the dales. Through the graves, I mean. Um... That's what's so frustrating about being an elf. Well, I mean, it's not frustrating, but it has to be frustrating for your character. Uh, you start running into so many of them around here. And rage demons, because you know we can't leave them out. elf in this area has to be, if not traumatizing, at least incredibly frustrating, because you're met with all these reminders of how your people are considered sinful and wrong um, for existing, and all they want to keep doing is telling you how sinful and wrong you are, and how you don't belong, and how you shouldn't exist, and that whole other thing. make a very, very small contribution to the overall fight. I should have just come down here. Oh, I'm glad you're having fun, Dorian. Actually, Dorian and Cole do have some lovely conversations, and I really want to do try and, and mm -hmm. capture more of those. Alright, another belt of spirit resistance. Ambrium. Oh look, there's a waterfall. I wonder if there's something underneath it. Silver Falls. No elven treasure was hidden beneath the falls. That ri ridiculous tale lost me six soldiers. If I find the man who started the rumor, I'll kill him myself. From the Journal of Captain Marzand, I did, dated 220 Glory. That's like six ages ago. Well, there's no treasure, but there is something. We should search something. the area. Yes, I'm searching. 
Reminds me of the public baths in Menrathus, but colder. <laughs> Bottles of Thetis. Sun blonde, vit sun blonde vint wine. The vinter brewed for a very discreet clientele and strong enough to fluster a tranquil. An almost weightless spirit best served for the powdering of cat's bane as a flavor enhancer and antidote. Antidote? So no, no treasure, but there is everite, which is a very, very nice metal. Alright, so where am I headed now? I should probably be heading over to the lodge, I guess. There's, I did see some embryo over here. I was not mistaken. But actually, I really kind of want to get up to... Hmm, if I come over here, the lodge is that way. So let me do that. I'm going to head for that one. I don't remember exactly where it is, though. Uh, yeah, I do think I have to go up. Maybe? Possibly? Maybe not. Now I'm really lo wanting to look for a, a... Oh, fuck me, it's a bear. Hello. Ignore me, will you? Hey, hey, hey! Me. Pay attention to me. Don't kill the deer. Why is that not landed? I think these also work for that Burgess Claws class. But... These things have tons of HP. It is crazy. I am not doing so great health wise. But we got it. So yeah, I really definitely do want to get that camp before I go any further because I'm down to less than half my health potions. But yeah, great bear hide. Very nice. And I, he killed that August deer, so I'm going to get its hide as well. August ram, sorry. Ram, deer, big difference. They look more like deer. And anything else over here? Nope. So now we're going to go up the hill... Right those steps. <gasps> more ash vine. I need so much of it. I also need two more infusion primers, and I can't remember where to get those, but um shouldn't take too much longer. Actually what I need to do is look at my quest because that should tell me I may have to go back to the storm coast or something. Specific creatures carry the specific things that you need for each specialization. Do, 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 more deep mushroom is over here. And there's our camp. Yay! There's a rift down there as well, but I don't think I want to go for it right away. Another one of those we could wolf come statues. Here. And we shall, Cole. Mm. Sorry, I needed water. I'm getting very dry. Um, I, uh, let's see. What was I going to say? I can't remember now. I got distracted. Oh, I love the elf and wolf thing. Again, because of the elf quest, you know, being a fan since I was a little kid type thing. Um, where's my quest? Oh, right. Um, Inquisitor's Path, I think. Come on. Way of the Reaver, that's what I want. Okay, the infusion primers at the east side hills, the flats, and the black fens in Crestwood. So I do need to go back to Crestwood. Um, although I did pick one up already, and I'm not sure where I got that from, but either way, that's all right. Um, so at some point I'll go back to Crestwood and get those. Then all I need to do is create the thing at the requisition table, and then I get the tree for the, the Reaver. Um... And there is some really good stuff with that. It, it, it's a lot of, you know, the more you get hit, the better you strike back. So the more blood, um, the better you do. But the infusion primer is something to do with the dragon's blood. I don't know. 
Um, I feel like I could talk about... No, I'm not going to talk about what's been going on. Um, I feel like I could talk about it, but it would just be... <sighs> nothing new. Everything is awful. Oh god, oh god, somebody do something. Um, but hopefully we will be able to do things. Anyway, I'm coming around here now. Uh, it's kind of the back the back way around to get into this lodge. So there's Sister Custo's area, there's which is the Viridian Mine, there's this lodge, and then there's a villa, which is actually a really nice little area. Um, I mean, oil agents do know how to, how to prettify everything, that's for sure. And uh, you get to go inside and explore and more little side quest things they are kind of cool. But here we go down into the Villa Morel. And we'll just take out the main guy. is important to Cole, so I always feel glad that I can do something to make him happy. But we are not done here by a long shot. We also have to... do that. And loot our stuff. Three men orders. Did you hear Sister Custo has fallen? I'm surprised it took so long. She was soft. Yeah, not wanting to kill people unnecessarily. Unfortunately, we also lost the rats we were going to send to Suladin. We have to make sure this doesn't happen again. So that's an interesting little note because the, uh, we ha she had people caged up for no apparent reason. Um, and why are they sending people to Suladin? But we'll find out. And this guy's loot has the next piece of the puzzle, I think. Oh, he has the key. So we're actually going to go in. Oh, I guess we are going to go in here. This is the villa. What? I didn't. I thought it was the lodge for some reason. Um... Lots of good little... See, now it's really good that I, I cleared out my inventory. Oh, look, there's Andraste. Um, because there's a whole bunch of stuff. Superior one-handed haft. Hmm. Duhame's notes. Duhame is the guy we just killed. Augustus made progress in the Exalted Plains. We are together in this, but Maker's Breath, how that irks me. That weapon, weapon or whatever secret is hidden in those glyphs, is mine by rights. Maliphant trusts me most. Bah, he won't have it. Not while I live. So that's an interesting... Um, a little teaser towards what we're going to be doing when we get to um, the Exalted Plains. There's a bunch of glyphs that you have to find and you use the, the Veil Fire. <laughs> Just, you know, nice little sitting desk here. Hard and High Town, Chapter 9, yay! Um, uh, and you do eventually find out what they're looking for. So Augustus is over in the Dales, but we still have to kill a guy over here. Oh, there's also more Lyrium. We also have to finish off these dudes. What the hell just happened? At least I'm finally getting my guard up again. Oh, you're just gonna ignore the fact that I killed you then? Okay. Well, how about you ignore the fact that I kill you? Oh, there's some debilitating effect on me. I don't know. Um, anyway. Oh, now I get the heavy war drums. Sigil. Si sigil. <laughs> sigil of the Chevalier. Uh, <laughs> I'm having critical role flashbacks. Um, there was a point where Matt Mercer consi consistently referred to those as sigils when I've always said sigil. And I don't know why he... You know, it, it's one of those things where different people read things and then read it and then speak it in different ways. 
Um, and then people got on his case about it. It was really kind of hilarious, but eventually, I think he did change to calling it Sigil. And now I'm saying Sigil. Anyway, things that, things that amuse only me for $1,000. Would you get out of my way, Cole? Thank you, God. For spirit, you sure are solid. Superior Vanguard armor. Mm, nice. I wonder if that's any better than what I'm wearing now. I actually did come across... Ooh, it's a lot better. It's ugly as hell. But I bet I could improve the rest of those with the... Just moving my arms over. Arms and legs. Um, I'll have to do that later. Once we capture the, the lodge, I think that becomes a full keep type thing for us. <sighs> Duhame's notes. The shipments are prepared. And once again, the rats from Watcher's Reach are getting in my way. One woman got far enough into my camp to look in the crates, scratching for food, no doubt. Sneaky little peasants. Perhaps traps next time? Again, these are they're talking about the people that they're sending to Suladin for some unknown but clearly nefarious purpose. Nefarious. I love them. Um, so yeah, this is where we're, we're going to go into the villa. We have four minutes. Why not? You know, I've really been trying to keep the episodes to about half an hour, but I always seem to run a little bit what over. What is it called? Why the odd looks? Light pastry with blueberries, sticky on your fingers, small hands reaching as Anthony tears his in half. But when you got to the kitchen, they were all gone. Ah, yes. They are delicious, but do not last long. I could get you one. The cooks don't see me. Just because they don't see you doesn't mean it isn't theft. That's sweet. I mean, it's kind of nice to actually have some of her memory of Anthony not be sad. Anthony was her brother. Um, I don't think I've gotten the conversation yet where she talks about what happened to him, but I mean, obviously he's gone. The wrath of heaven, or wrath. Those who, oh, those who oppose thee shall know the wrath of heaven. Field and forest shall burn. The seas shall rise and devour them. The wind shall tear their nations from the fact, fact of the earth. Lightning shall rain down from the sky. They shall cry out to their false gods and find silence. Canticle of Andraste, 719. Um, shouldn't that be from the face of the earth? Anyway, this talks about who Andraste was. Battleground state. Again, this is the Saharan thing. Saharan thing. To protect your more vulnerable party members, use tactical camera to highlight an alien ally and set them as your target. I don't think I've ever tried that. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Okay. Hmm. Come on. Finish loading. There we go. Villa Morale. Freeman's leader should be holed up here. This place has seen better days. These men are thugs. What do you expect? Okay, yeah, this is this is another place that's just, you know, really pretty, and it's a shame that it's been occupied by thieves. I haven't heard anything from the plane, Ooh. have you? No, nothing recent anyway. We're going to get the drop on them. Pages from Lord Morell's journal. Um, the journal of one of the villa's former owners, the current occupants, toss it aside. Artem is the very soul of discretion. I could have a Templar to dinner, and they would none of them. They would be none of the none of wiser. What? They would be none of wiser. If the Templars hadn't gone off to do what Maker knows what, I might try it. Valerie complains, but the Empress herself has such an advisor. Why not me? His services are useful, and no one could better ensure our security. No matter. The distractions of the city will ease her mind soon enough. Um, so that mentions that the um, 
the Empress has a mage advisor. Is sort of the implication when you get from that. Arrive? A few hours ago. He's talking with them now. Hi. Oh, I just want to get through, come through and get it, get rid of as many of these other guys as I can before going to the main courtyard. Um, so, the Empress has a magical advisor. I wonder who that could be. Uh, Maliphant kept several journals. This one spans the time Maliphant spent as a sergeant in the Imperial Army. Maliphant is, um, some dude. I don't know. Gordian, um, is a guy, is another guy that we have to kill. I think he's, he's not a knot. Um, I think he's at the lodge, maybe. I just like to come through and get all my crafting mats. Anyway, um, if these go a little bit over, I don't really have a problem with it. The only thing that frustrates me is that it doesn't take too much time to render, but it does take a lot of time to upload still, so, um, I'm trying not to be too, not to go too overboard with this kind of thing. Okay, so now we've got something in here. Oh, yeah. There must be something here. Indeed part there of a is. Key. There's a rune inscribed on it. Or part of one. And we'll need that for later. More loot, loot, loot. More crafting mats that I need. Paragons, Luster, and Samite. Bronto hide. Always nice. Good leather. Um, there's one more guy in the hall here. But I'm going to get this first. Death root. Hi. This will save. I'm hoping. Anyway, this will save me some time later on. Make it take you. Because we do have um, a big fight coming up here. Pieces of a horse statue there. Um, but we're going to come in here and see if there's anything. Nope, just a note. Read it, darn it. A servant's letter addressed to the villa's former, former owner. So w now what we can see is that Artem, who's the mage that we were seeing before, um, the, the previous owner has left, and they are, um, these guys moved in and basically occupied the place. So we're going to come out and deal with them. And um, that there's also something stored safely. So I'm curious about what that is. This was, um, <laughs> this was a place where I had a fun glitch once. I somehow, over there where Dorian is, I somehow got under that part of the building. Would you frickin' die? Jesus. Stop running around. Being a pain in the ass. Oh no, you're gonna run all the way up here? Fine. I can run all the way up here too. Okay. So now we should have just a couple more guys to deal with. Oh, there you are, you piece of shit. I was wondering when you'd come out. him around and that's how I somehow got stuck underneath the floorboards and what looked like a crawl space. That seems to be the last of them. I'm guessing that was the man in charge. We've struck a blow against the freemen. A letter bearing the Templar seal. Have a chat with Maliphant. Make everything sure everything's running smoothly. While there, see if any of his men might wish to volunteer their services in a priest de Leon. We could always use, use a few more. Be discreet. Maliphant's still useful. I doubt he'd remain so if the, he thinks they we're stealing his the soldiers. Wrong friends. They did indeed. Um, and what that's referring to is the Red Templars. So I'm going to close this here. Um, some of these guys carry the same notes. It's nothing exciting. There's something... Oh, oh Embryum. Alright, um, and I'm also going to get some Crystal Grace. And then once I come back, we're going to finish solving the mystery of the villa. Look at that. I think I have five now. So I need I need ten for the thing that I need these for. But for now, yeah, we're going to go. 
So until next time, thanks for watching. I hope I see you again. Bye.